Hello everybody. The eruption in Iceland in the Fagra Dalsfjall system continues and has now been erupting for 25 days. The eruption seems to be taking its last breath, and lava output suggests it may end in the next few days instead of weeks. In these final moments, it has also started raining, which is almost funny. As for the entirety of the eruption, it was completely dry on the Reykjanes Peninsula. And our firefighters have been fighting moss fires during all that time. And now, when the eruption is ending, the rain comes. Following decreased activity, the crater has changed a lot, to the point where a smaller crater has formed within it, creating a crater within a crater. There's also a strange phenomenon ongoing, which people can see through the live cameras. A lot of smoke. What is causing it? Well, let's dive into the details. So, since the lava output is so low, the numbers haven't changed a lot since the last video. If we take to the skies, we can see how the lava field looked on July 31st, when the latest data came in. But since lava output has been really low, it hasn't changed a lot, and it's probably safe to assume it covers around 1.55 square kilometers at the moment where most of the expansion remains in the southernmost edge. The timing of the eruption's end is quite unfortunate, as a team of experts were hoping to analyze the effects lava had on various types of cables that transfer electricity and internet, both underground and above ground. They expected the eruption to last long enough so that lava would flow out of Meradalir at the point marked on screen where they put all the test cables. Judging by the current state of the lava edge, Closest to the point, it doesn't look like it's going to flow through the test area, which is quite unfortunate. Hopefully, they'll be able to get some data out of the experiment, as it would not just give Iceland a lot of data, but also the whole world, as an experiment of this type hasn't been done before. Back to the numbers. In my last video, the volume the lava field took was around 13 to 16 million cubic meters but our experts couldn't get a really accurate number out of the data collected. The current lava output suggests that the volume is still somewhere between 13 and 16 million cubic meters, but the output at the moment is probably only around 3 to 4 cubic meters per second, which is a bare minimum to keep an eruption going. If we take a look at the crater, the most notable thing is the abundant smoke which rises from it, much more than we've seen during the entire eruption. The cause is most likely due to the fact that the crater is cooling down rapidly, due to the decreased activity, but we also saw this happen during the final stages of the previous two eruptions. The other interesting thing about the crater is that another crater has formed within it. It formed due to all the collapses that have occurred since the lava pool left. So, all this recent activity is a telltale sign that the eruption is ending. It most likely doesn't have much left, only a couple of days and not weeks, but it would be great if it could hang on until August 10th to be able to claim the one month milestone. That's six days from now on August 4th. In the meantime, we'll just watch all the live streams and enjoy the views while we can. I just want to thank everyone who made it here. Definitely leave any speculations and questions in the comments. It's always fun to read them. Other than that, I just hope you enjoyed I also hope to see most of you in the next video and thanks for watching.